Hi, my name is Laura Levy. I'm a fourth year PhD student in the Earth Sciences Department here at Dartmouth College and I study with Dr. Meredith Kelly. Uh, I study how the Greenland ice sheet and small glaciers in Greenland have responded to past climate change and we use that as a baseline for how they might respond to future climate change. We study how the Greenland ice sheet and local glaciers um, in Greenland have changed over time by two different methods. The first is called surface exposure dating using an isotope called beryllium-10. And we're actually able to determine uh, when glacier deposits were exposed to the atmosphere. And this tells us when the glacier receded from that location. So we go into the field and um, look for large boulders that were deposited by the ice sheet or glaciers and um, sample the top of them. And we're able to bring those samples back here to Dartmouth College and um, process them and then measure the amount of beryllium-10 in the um, top of the rock and uh, using a known production rate of beryllium-10 we can work backwards and determine how long that deposit or boulder has been exposed to the atmosphere which tells us when the ice sheet was lost at that location and that tells us um, how the ice sheet or glacier has changed in the past. So we also use another method which is studying the lake sediments that are in front of these glaciers uh, and what we do is we extract a sediment core from the lake and we look at um, different proxies of the sediments to determine how the ice up valley has uh, changed because the um, glacier is depositing meltwater into the lake when it's present. So one example is that um, when we look at these sediment cores sometimes we find areas where parts of the core that have higher organic content than other parts of the core and along with some other measurements we can look at that and um, that might be clues for that maybe the ice was totally out of the basin or had melted completely and that it was a much warmer climate when you had a lot more plants growing on the surrounding lakeshore and also maybe aquatic plants growing in the lake itself. And so we can um, look at those data and uh, potentially interpret them as a warmer climate during that interval. We're able to use these two methods, uh, the surface exposure dating of glacial deposits and also lake sediments to construct a chronology of how uh, glaciers and ice sheets have uh, responded to past climate changes. So we're really interested in tracking how the ice sheet has uh, changed in the past uh, because these data are useful for modelers who construct models to look at how the Greenland ice sheet has changed in the past and then they're able to use these models to um, forecast how the Greenland ice sheet might respond to future climate change. And we're really interested in the Greenland ice sheet specifically because it holds a large potential for uh, global sea level rise.